Today I'll be demonstrating one way to create a very popular video transition effect using a luma mat within Adobe After Effects. If you're unfamiliar with alpha or luma mats, don't worry. They're actually very easy to understand and will only be used in the most basic sense in this video. Here is what we are going to make. Notice how the second clips seem to come from behind the building in the first clip. This was achieved by replacing the sky in the first clip with transparency, which revealed the clip underneath it. There are many different ways of creating this kind of transition. It all really depends on the type of shot you're working with. The technique I will show you of using a washed out or mostly solid colored sky to create a matted transition is quick to make and easy to implement while filming skating. Our first step is to drag our footage down to the composition icon to create a new comp. As I scrub through the footage, you can see where the sky used to be. Next, let's duplicate our layer by hitting Command D on a Mac or Control D on PC, and then look for the first frame that the sky comes into view and trim our top layer to that frame. Okay, so our next thing to do is to cycle through our red, green, and blue channels to look for which channel has the greatest contrast between the building and the sky. As I cycle through the channels by holding Alt and pressing the 1, 2, and 3 keys, I can see that the blue channel has the greatest contrast and least noise. This is the channel we will use to create our luma mat. Next, you'll want to apply the effect Shift Channels to our top layer and change all the values to blue, except for alpha. Your video clip should now be completely desaturated. Once this is done, apply a Levels effect to the same layer. By adjusting the histogram sliders, you want to get the sky as close to 100% white as possible, and the building as close to 100% black as possible. If there are some white or gray spots in the building, no worries. They'll be cleaned up in a later step. Essentially, pulling the left slider to the right pushes darker values closer to black, just as pulling the right slider to the left pushes lighter values closer to white. Now, double-click your top layer to enter the layer window. This is where we are going to clean up all those spots on the building. There are more efficient ways of doing this, but for anyone who doesn't have a decent understanding of masks and tracking, this will be the easiest way. What we are going to do is paint black over those white spots for the affected frames. Be careful not to paint over the sky. There are variations of stroke duration down in the paint panel, but for this example, we'll keep it set to single frame, meaning whatever we paint will only affect the frame we painted on. Now that we've taken care of those spots, let's find the first frame where the entire frame is filled with white and trim the end of our top layer to there. Now we can go over to the track mat function for our lower layer and switch it to luma inverted mat. As you can see, anything in the lower layer that was behind the white of the upper layer was knocked out and is now transparent. Luma mats work by using values of black and white to create transparency. Typically, anything white is kept, black becomes transparent, and any grays are intermediate levels of transparency. For our composition, we use the Luma inverted mat because we wanted to knock out the white, not the black. From here, we're ready to use the clip in a transition. You can either place the clip at the bottom layer of the composition directly inside After Effects, or you can render out the clip for use within Premiere or Final Cut Pro, Vegas, whatever you're using. Just make sure to export the RGB and Alpha channels to preserve the transparency. So, like I said, there are many different ways of creating this type of transition, but this way is probably the simplest. Thanks for watching, I hope this helped, and hopefully I'll be making more filming and editing tutorials in the future.